specifically with a new accelerator for nuclear astrophysics purposes, it's more of gaining uh, understanding of how quickly those reactions are likely to occur. And from recreating the conditions in this way with the equipment in our lab, we can apply that those to the conditions in different stellar environments throughout the universe. And that gives us an information of where all the heavy elements of the universe that make up our bodies and the Earth and the accelerator itself really come from um, as it converts the hydrogen and helium and lighter elements into the heavier elements. We do have some other more applied applications uh, that we're trying to develop more and more, which have um, environmental or uh, cultural heritage type studies with the anthropology department and that kind of stuff. But the core research is uh, gaining a better understanding of the nuclear reactions that are taking place in different environments. And as the particles go through, basically there is electrons that circulate in the magnetic field that is like a magnetic field bottle. We've got collaborators throughout the world, a lot from Europe, um, also from uh, both North and South America, and other places throughout the world. So they come in and uh, take advantage of some of the facilities that we have and expertise of the researchers here with the facilities that we have to uh, do some of these experiments here that can't be really done any place else in the world. The last uh, National Science Foundation accelerator, university-based accelerator for a research like ours was funded back in the 1980s. So it's been, been a while, and so this should provide uh, the foundation for a, a, the continuation of a long tradition of good physics that we've done here at Notre Dame.